if, for example, my 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 personal dream uh, for, in terms of relating to this topic is a player comes out um, during the World Cup, a famous player comes out during the World Cup to come out as to reveal your sexuality, as I'm sure the people who have uh, listened to the first episode will just have heard. And that personally would be an amazing act for football. Uh, and let's not forget, the Premier League is a league with no openly gay footballers, even though 7% of British men associate with being... Uh, uh, n- not kind of uh, totally home- heterosexual. So football is already a, a home, uh, is is an environment where people who feel uncomfortable about their se- expressing their sexuality. So I think you could really kill two birds with one stone, and that means have a double effect with one action. If, if a player was to come out during the World Cup, it would have a big impact in Qatar, and I think it would have a big impact in the wider world of football. And so... I think you're right. I think these media things can seem a little bit hypocritical. I think to an extent you're right about these kind of countries. It can seem a little bit organized. It can seem a little bit false at times. I, although I'm not, I I do also support some, some of it. Um, But I think the thing that could really make an impact would be individual players putting their neck on the lines. Um, And that means exposing themselves to a different difficult situation because if a player was to come out if, if a top player was to come out obviously a lot of people would criticize that player unfortunately but it would change the momentum of the debate in society and especially in football um so do you think players could um with a personal uh, attachment to these issues do you think they could maybe do some things that could make some differences it's a very interesting issue that we don't have. I believe there's one gentleman in the Australian Professional League. He's the only player who has come out. We we had Justin Fashionu in the 1980s as well. Uh, he came out after he retired. Did he? I see. So it is strange how players are still fearful of coming out. On the other side of that, the argument against coming out is that you are announcing to the world that your sexuality uh is kind of bigger, perhaps, from a media point of view than the needs of the team. And football is so much of a team game that it could have a counter effect and create difficulties, animosities in the dressing room. I don't mean that players won't support you for being gay. I'm sure players generally these days are are very liberal and tolerant of that kind of thing. But from the point of view of drawing attention to yourself by coming out, that could be counterproductive in the eyes of the coach and the other teammates who want to focus on the unity of the team. Okay, but what about in terms of the impact of the message? If, if for example, no, I'm not saying a Messi or a Ronaldo, but I mean, if a top-level football player, a household name, someone well-known, was to come out during the Qatar World Cup or was to... was to, I, I was thinking it would also be a beautiful gesture if two captains kissed when doing the uh, the coin flip. I was thinking that would be another thing which could really have a strong impact, a social impact. Again, I don't think it's very likely, but do you think these uh, these kind of organic individual gestures could have a could have a positive impact either in football or in the Qatari society? Uh, this is where you and I probably differ in our views. I I I'm not interested in, at all in in football being used to promote social causes. Whether I agree or disagree with those causes. And and generally, I do do agree that we should be more open about homosexuality, homosexuality in football. But I also more fundamentally believe that uh, whether it's social values or political values, they should all be parked left outside the football arena. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to see any of these causes promoted, really. I just want to focus on the game, not being told how I should feel about this issue or that issue. So you're in favour of disbanding the World Cup because the nation is a political entity. So, I mean, really, we should just be ganging up with our mates and playing against each other. I I, I see what you mean. I'm not sure that uh, our listeners will agree, though. I'm joking. I'm joking. 